Okay guys, so here is a numerical example to understand uh, you ask my house, I get your turn algorithm, all right? Um, so I'm um, sorry, I, I, I needed uh, maybe too much space for this. So here is the example. We have five agents. Uh, I'm going to call them agent one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, four agents already occupy a house and their houses are H1 for agent one, H2 for agent two, and so on. Um, so these are occupied houses. Individual five as a newcomer. And the nice thing is there are more available houses than agents. So the vacant houses are five, six, and seven. All right. Um, what else? Well, here are the preferences of the agents. Remember, we assume that uh, they declare their preferences truthfully. Then later we're going to ask the question, are they really uh, prefer to declare their preferences truthfully? That's a separate question. So here, let's suppose for that reason, we know that they uh, declared their preferences truthfully in this fashion. So for example, agent one prefers house two over house six, and then house six to house five, house one, house four, three, seven. And so everybody actually uh, prefer all the houses uh, rather than, uh, you know, the null house, which is uh, empty set or uh, which means uh, no match. So in this case, uh, when we apply, you ask my house, I get your turn algorithm, uh, what is going to be the final matching? Well, uh, let's suppose and let's take the ordering as such, one, two, three, four, five. Who deter determines this? Well, remember the, the, the central authority determines this uh, ranking. How? Randomly. Fine. So under this, who is going to get what house? Well, we ask the first agent, which house do you want the most? Well, the first agent is going to say house two. All right. So agent one wants house two. Remember house two belongs to individual two. Okay. Well, the thing is, individual two has not been served yet and he actually occupies this house, house two. So what's going to happen? Well, we have to move, remember, agent two on top of agent one and then everything else is the same. So this is going to be our new uh, uh, ranking. So now we are going to ask again, uh, but this time to agent two, what is your favorite house? So agent two is going to say, my favorite house is house seven. Does this house belong to any agent? No, it's a vacant agent, uh, vacant house. So then we're going to match agent two with house seven. Huh. So here's the match, mu, uh, agent one, agent two, three, four, five. Uh, agent two's match is going to be house seven. That's it. So we're going to take agent two out of uh, consideration. All right. And so, and also house seven, the new ranking is therefore going to be one, three, four, five. And house seven is out of consideration. All right. So you can cancel out H seven uh, uh, from everywhere. All right. Well, now I'm going to ask again, agent one. Which house do you prefer the most? Well, he's going to say house two. All right. Well, the question is, is house two now available? Remember, it was previously an occupied house, but because agent two is matched with house seven, now house two became vacant. All right. So then we are going to give house two to agent one. So we're going to match agent one with house two, and we're going to take both agent one and house two out of consideration. So the new list is going to become three, four, five. All right. And house two is going to be out of consideration uh, for everybody else. All right. Well, these two agents are also out of consideration because uh, they are already served. Now agent three. Which house do you like the most? Well, he actually did like house two the most, but it's no longer available. So his answer is going to be house one. I mean, this is, again, there's no discussion between the uh, 
mechanism designer or the central authority and the agent, he doesn't keep asking this question because the mechanism designer or the central authority already pulled this data from the consumer's uh, agent. And so uh, he, he uses this, this data to determine this matching, all right? I mean, the, the, the mechanism doesn't ask agents again and again. It's just, it asks one question. What is your preference ranking over the houses? Agents answer as such, and then mechanism takes this and determines the matching, okay? So when I say he asks, uh, the, the agent answers this way. So it, it, it's not literal, okay? Um, all right, agent three's um, uh, most preferred house is ha uh, house one. Question is, is this a occupied house or a vacant house? Well, remember agent one owned, uh, I'm sorry, was an existing tenant for house one, but he moved to house two. So house one is now available. So that means the third agent will be matched with house one and he will be out of consideration, all right? And then what else? H1 is also out of consideration, um, okay? And then finally, not finally, agent four, what is his house? Well, top choice, agent four's top choice is actually H4 among the remaining ones. So he gets his own uh, houses. And then once it's also ignored uh, or canceled, the last guy, unfortunately, agent five, and agent five is going to say house three. Now it is vacant. As you see, it's matched to no one. And so agent five is going to be matched with house three. So this is going to be the match if this is the ranking. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, do the just opposite. Well, this time five, four, three, two, one, right? I mean, agent five was uh, the, the least uh, uh, favored man. And now let's call it mu prime. This is a different matching, obviously. Um, well, what is the, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So what is the new match under this scenario? Okay. Let's go to agent five. He's the first agent five, which house do you like the most? He's going to say house four. Okay, is house four occupied? Yes, it is. So therefore, you know what? We're going to pull agent four on top of the list. Agent five is gonna be second, and then three, two, one. And now we're gonna ask agent four, what house, oops, sorry. I say agent four, but write five. Agent four, what is your top choice? Agent four is gonna say my top choice is house two, okay? All right, well, is house two occupied? Yes, it is occupied by agent two. So remember, this is what happened. Agent four, uh, five, ask house four, which was belong to four, and he asked house two, which was belong to agent two. All right, well, uh, right, y yes. So what's gonna happen next? Well, next, Agent two, remember his house has been uh, demanded, is going to move all the way to the top. So the new list is going to be two, four, five, three, one. Okay, so I move two on top and then I keep everything else the same, four, five, three, one. All right, so now I'm going to ask agent two, what house do you like? Well, he's going to say uh, house seven. Hmm. So agent two says house seven. So here I don't get any loop, to be honest, uh, because agent two requires a, a, a demands a, a vacant house. Well, if his first alternative would have been, uh, for example, uh, house five, well then, all right, if, if this wasn't age seven, but age five, that would form, a, because H5 belongs to agent five, that's what I mean by a loop, okay? And so I would take everybody out of this loop. How? I would match agent five, H4, agent four, H2, agent two, H5. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
a, um, let me think. Um, agent, okay, agent, agent two demands house five and, and uh, house five goes to a, exactly. So this is how I would match and close this loop and then take who? Agent five, four and two out of consideration. The only remaining guys would be three and one, all right? according to this ranking. And then I next I would ask agent three, what house do you like? Okay. So, however, according to those preferences, agent two's best house, best available house, don't uh, be, be careful about it, is H7. All right, so this is H7. So I don't have any loop. Uh, H uh, I'm sorry, agent two can actually get house seven. So I'm going to match him house seven. Good. Well, but then what's going to happen? Well, this is what's going to happen. Agent two and house seven are going to be out of consideration. I'm not taking house seven or any other houses off the picture because I already, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, sort of uh, um, lined them. And so I don't want to make uh, cause much more confusion. So Agent two is off the picture. So this is the new ranking. Remember, we started this way. So I'm going to ask again, agent four, what is your preferred? So let's erase this. So I'm going to ask agent four, what is your preferred house? Agent four, he's going to say H2, it's available, but occupied, uh, right? So it's occupied by a, oh, I'm sorry. This time it's not occupied because agent two already got a house seven. So four is gonna get house of the second agent and he will be off the list, all right? And then I'm gonna ask agent five, what is your top choice? He's gonna say H4, which is still available. Uh, and in fact, it's not occupied because agent four received his house too. Uh, received the house of the second guy. And so agent five is going to get house, uh, what, um, four. Good. And then he's off the picture. Then finally agent three. Agent three is going to say house two, uh, but house two is occupied, uh, not occupied. It's, it's not available. And then he's going to say H1. Uh, okay, so three says H1. But the question is, is H1... Uh, uh, still uh, uh, available. No, because agent one still not served. So therefore I'm going to put agent one on top of agent three. All right. So my new list is going to be one three. And then I'm going to ask agent one the same question. What house do you like the most? He's going to say house two. Sorry, not available. House six. Oh, it is vacant. So you got house six and then one is off the picture. And then agent three, I ask him again, what house do you want? Now he's going to say, which agent? Agent three, H2 is not available. H1 is now available. So he's going to get H1. Okay. So this is going to be the matching if this is the ranking. Well, why did I do that? Well, the reason I did this is as you see, the matching is different. All right. Um, significantly different. Only a second agent gets the same house, I guess. Yes. And everything else is the same. You know, some of the agents are going to get better off. Some of the agents are going to get worse off. For example, agent one. Uh, here, under Mu, clearly he gets better off. Here, he gets his second best, which, is, which makes sense because agent one uh, was the first here and the last here, all right? So here, who gets better off? Well, agent two has exactly the same outcome, so he's indifferent between these two matching. And agent three, he, he's also indifferent, I'm sorry. Uh, so two agents have the same outcome. Agent four, he used to have house four, now he's having house two. So he's gonna prefer mu prime over mu, all right? So that's a good news. Well, that makes sense because now agent four is, 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 is ranked the second. And so, uh, you know, if you ranked um, earlier, obviously you're going to get a better outcome. Um, and so that means because we reshuffle uh, the, the, the ranking of the agents, some agents will be better off, some agents will get worse off. So that basically makes these two uh, matching incomparable in, 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 in terms of predo-optimality, meaning none of those, I mean, mu does not predominate mu prime, mu prime does not dominate mu. And in fact, 
I, uh, I should just say it here. Uh, the mechanism YRMH uh, IGYT, I mean, you ask my house, I get your turn algorithm. This is proto optimal always. This is uh, individual, it does satisfy individual rationality. Okay, I'm not proving them, uh, but these are the properties. And then finally, it is strategy proof. The final question, I mean, nice, whatever the ranking is, the outcome is going to be pretty optimal, meaning you can't improve everybody, everybody's uh, sort of uh, ranking, a preference, a happiness, whatever you call it, without hurting anyone. Uh, it's individually rational, meaning nobody will actually get worse off than his or her initial house. Agent 1, for example, here is getting H6 and H2, but both of them are better than H1, remember? Agent 2, he gets uh, H7, but definitely better than H2. Agent 3, remember, this is his individual rational point, and he gets uh, house 1, clearly better. And agent four, his house is H4, uh, but here, uh, this is, is this six or four? Uh, I think this is four, it can't be six. Um, sorry, uh, I, I couldn't even read my own notation. Uh, so he either gets his individual irrational, I mean his own house, or uh, a better house. Yes, I remember that was H4. So therefore, Nobody gets worse off, so it does satisfy individual rationality, regardless of what ranking uh, the mechanism designer or the authority selects. And the main question may be, are the agents going to reveal or tell the designer their true preferences? Can they manipulate, lie, and then get a better payoff, a better uh, house? No. The answer is no because the mechanism is strategy proof. Okay, I hope that was a clear example and uh, I, I, I was able to explain it clearly.